everybody and welcome to my brand new channel. Thanks so much to everybody who's already subscribed. Hope to see more of you soon. So here we are with the first official video. And in this, we're going to take a look at the King Arthur class and Lord Nelson class of the Southern Railway as represented by locomotives from my dad's collection. And this is also the first Gerald's Choice video. The London South Western Railway N15 class was a British two-cylinder 460 Express passenger steam locomotive designed by Robert Urey. They were constructed over eight years, from 1919 to 1926. Following the grouping of the railway companies in 1923, the London South Western became part of the Southern Railway, and its publicity department gave the N15 locomotives names associated with Arthurian legend the class henceforth becoming known as King Arthur's. The chief mechanical engineer of the newly formed company, Richard Maltzell, modified the Uri locomotives in the light of operational experience and increased the class strength to 74 locomotives. The new locomotives were built over several batches at Eastley and Glasgow, leading to the nicknames of Eastley Arthur's and Scotch Arthur's. The Southern LN, or Lord Nelson class, was a type of four-cylinder 460 steam locomotive designed for the Southern Railway by Richard Maltzell in 1926. They were intended for continental boat trains between London Victoria and Dover Harbour, but were also later used for express passenger work to the southwest of England. Sixteen of them were constructed, representing the most powerful Southern 460 design. They were all named after famous naval admirals. The class continued to operate with British Railways until withdrawal during 1961 and 62. For a period after its introduction to the Southern Railway Network, the Lord Nelson class held the title of Most Powerful Locomotive in Britain. Now let's take a really close look at these fine models. First up we have number 454, Queen Guinevere. She was built at Eastleigh in March 1925 and withdrawn in October 1958 and she's paired up here with a Drummond Tender. The model is a wheels kit with a 1001 motor, 40 to 1 gears and wheels etched chassis. In BR days she carried the number 30454. Now we have number 785, Sir Maido de la Porte, not sure if I pronounced that right. She was a North British locomotive and built in September 1925 and withdrawn in October 1959. Again, she has a wheels kit with 40 to 1 gears, a 1001 motor and an etched brass chassis. Next up we have number 851, the first of our Nelsons. This one, Sir Francis Drake. She was built at Eastley Works in May 1928 and survived until December 1961. This was a K's kit. 
which is seen in 1938 condition and is fitted with an SGAT RG41 cordless motor and a K's etch chassis. Next up we have 736 Excalibur. She was built at Eastleigh in August 1918 and was drawn in November 1956. Again a wheels kit fitted with a 1001 motor and 40 to 1 gears. Now we have number 857 Lord Howe, built at Eastleigh in December 1928 and withdrawn in September 1962. This was a craftsman kit and she is shown here in southern pre-war malachite green, 1939 livery. Again she's fitted with a cordless SCAP RG41M motor. Now we have number 783 Sir Gillimir, a North British locomotive built in August 1925 and withdrawn in March 1961. This was a scratch built chassis and she's shown here in SR Passenger Green, again fitted with a fantastic combination of an Airthex 1001 motor 40 to 1 gears. Lastly we have number 852 Sir Walter Raleigh, built at Eastleigh Works in July 1928 and withdrawn in February 1962. This again is a Craftsman kit shown in SR Passenger Green, 1938 livery this time, but this time with an X04 motor but with a 1001 armature and 40 to 1 gears.